Okay, so this is how we cheat to get the correct results with less effort. And what we do is we start off with the result. Now, how our image should look like in the mirror is it should be laterally inverted, back to front. It should be the same size, but it should also be the same distance away from the mirror as the object is in front. And that's what we start with. So if I take this first point, P1, and I just measure how far it is horizontally from the mirror. And I think this is in inches, this ruler, um, but it's about one, two inches, essentially two and a half and a little bit inches, I think that is. And I just do the same thing out this side, which would mean that point should be here in my image. So there's P1 dash. And I just do that with the other points. So if I take my point two, and just measure how far it is in front of the mirror. It's been much easier with an actual router. Um, so it's about three and a little bit, I think. So I'm going to put it there. Take your time over that. Try and be as accurate as possible. And then point three up here. Do the same thing. Okay, and what I can then do is I can draw my image. So we start off by cheating. We draw the image that we would expect, so it should be laterally inverted if we measure all those distances right. Um, it should be the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front. Okay. And that's our image drawn correctly to begin with. So we already have the correct result. But what we have to make it look like is we've done all the hard work to get there. So what I do is, and I'm just going to do this for point one, um, do the same thing we would have done. We would have drawn a line from there to the mirror. And that line's going to be reflected. Now we could use a protractor and normal to do that. But what we know is it has to appear to come from the point P1 when it's reflected. So you draw a line that appears to come from there, meets up with the incident ray at the mirror, and then continues on out. And you do that twice. So you do that, doesn't matter where you draw the second ray to, anywhere on the mirror. Um, but that reflected ray whoops, should appear to come from the point P1 and you just line them up as best you can. Remember dash line in behind the mirror and then continue and, I, and then we can draw our normals to make it look like we've done it and measured those angles. Okay and then we can do that for the other two points and make it look like we've done all those construction lines we need to do to work out where it comes from.